do you want to say uh hello my darling extraterrestrials with me oh yes <laughs> okay ready <laughs> five six seven eight hello, hello my, my darling extraterrestrials. extraterrestrials i'm kim i'm allison and this is dust Motes and bellacore and i'm really excited to have allison with me today because we're filming this video that is like kind of out of my wheelhouse and she's prepared to be really really mean to me i'm so excited <laughs> i feel so powerful in case you didn't read the title of this video, um, this is the first sentence challenge. So Allison here is going to pick 10 books off of my bookshelf. So they are my books. Um, and read me the first sentence of them. I will be, of course, blindfolded. And uh, <laughs> so if I get it on the first sentence, I get three points. And if I get it and if I don't get it, then she reads me the second sentence. And if I get it, then I get two points. And if uh, I still don't get it, then she reads me the last sentence of the entire book. So be careful about spoilers. But uh, uh, if I get it on that one, I get one point. And at some point, we're going to do math and figure out how to write these things down. I need paper. Hang on. <laughs> Glasses of wine for the both of us. <laughs> We should have cheersed. Cheers. We fixed it. <laughs> okay. Go forth, my darling, and pick ten books. Okay. I, do I need to move? Do I need to get out of your way? Maybe. I appreciate your devious mind, Allison. I love that you are exercising my devious mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Probably. I am very ready. <laughs> okay. Book number one. Okay. All the stories are true. Oh. I want to say the Hazelwood, but I know that's wrong. That is not right. All stories are true. All the stories are true. Is this... Wait. No, give me the second line. Oh, it has names in it. That's what Jace Wayland tells Clary Frey <laughs> at the end of the first book of the Shadowhunters Chronicles. Wait, no, you... Oh, this is the foreword! Yeah, you have to read the first... Part of the first, like, chapter or prologue. I liked the first sentence. It was so good. Forward. It's such a good first sentence. You've got to be kidding me, the bouncer said, folding his arms across his massive chest. That's also really difficult, but this is, because you read the foreword, I know that this is, um, the City of Bones. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you picked the first one in that series, because <laughs> otherwise I would be wildly lost. She pick a later one. <laughs> okay, book two. Yes, this is on her book. So wait, did we did we write down that I got two no, points? No, you got two points. I got two points. <laughs> okay, what what should I be ashamed of being on my shelf? Not ashamed. <laughs> ah! Oh God, that does count as a first sentence. <laughs> There is punctuation. <laughs> Please read me the punctuation. <laughs> Three exclamation points. Okay. Uh, Allison would say, yes, this is really on her bookshelf. <laughs> and then it's the first thing. Uh, with three exclamation points. May I ask how ah uh, is spelled? It's all caps and very drawn out. Is it A-H-H-H-H-H? Multiple A's, multiple H's. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm asking you stupid re circ circular questions. Please read me the second sentence. Harry, Celeste, we're almost at the tower. Celeste. Oh, this is um, Princess, 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 Princess saves. No, you're almost there. What's it called? Uh, it's the one where the princess and the knight are adorable and gay. It's a comic. It's a. It's a. It's yes. a Oh, God, what's it called? You had the first half of it right. Princess, princess, 
Ever After? Yes. Hey! <laughs> I also haven't read that one, but I knew that the main character's name was Celeste. <laughs> this is fun. I like this. <laughs> okay, book three. Tucked snugly away, deep within the dead forest, lived a family of witches. Mm, is this going to be an easy one? No. <laughs> if if we were switched, it would be an easy one for me. Oh, okay. Do you want the second sentence? Not yet. I think I just gave Tucked it away. In the dead forest... <laughs> family of witches i deliberately hid the two books that you would definitely pick um <laughs> was it two that i had loaned you yes <laughs> um allison would know it immediately that means it has something to do with um like disney stuff or like okay second sentence their gray cobblestone mansion was perched on the tallest hill, which looked down on a vast landscape of lifeless trees with brittle and twisted branches that looked like long, grasping hands. Have I read this book? I don't know if I knew this. Long, grasping. Is this, um, peculiar? No. Nope. No? Dan, don't look. We're doing kinky things. His face was great. I'm sad I missed it. <laughs> he looked so concerned and then he slowly closed the door. <laughs> um, do you want the last sentence? Yeah, we gotta do the Hail Mary on this sucker. No, let them sit in darkness. Let them wonder. I'm done with them. That was technically the last paragraph. Damn, oh god, that's a great last line. Let them sit in darkness. I am done with them. Oh. I'm willing to give hints on this one. Um, okay, I will accept one hint. Um, I I read this book in a matter of hours while you were driving your car. Dang it, I forgot the arcs! <laughs> this is the Mother Gothel book. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to take the arcs out of the shelf! This is Mother Knows Best. It is book four in the Disney villain series. I get no, part, no points for this one. It is hilarious that you did this. Yeah, I did this to myself. It's so good. Highly recommend it. <laughs> okay. How many points do I have? You have four. Four points. This is book four. He was asleep, but woke at the sound of the key turning in the lock. Is this Queen of Atolia? Yes. Hey! Who's good at her job? Alex would be so proud of me. Okay, you got three points for that one. Yee! Now you have seven points. Yeah! All right. Okay, this is book five. I'm 98% sure you're going to get this one. Okay. I like this. This gives me a sense of, like, victory. Names may be lost or forgotten. Names. Darkest part of the forest? No. Okay. Um, I don't know if I showed this one. This is book five. Names can be lost or forgotten. The second sentence has the name of the main character, so I feel like I can't read that. <laughs> give, me, give me just a second. Names can be lost or forgotten. Is this Strange the Dreamer? Yes. Hi! <laughs> Three more. <laughs> Three more points for Kim. Three more points for Kim. Okay, this is book six. All the world's a stage. Um, is it was this from the Ark Shelf too? Is this uh, a tree a Trader's Guide to Love and or an Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason? No. No. Okay. Um. Mm. Allison, are you being mean to me again? No. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> this is probably one of the harder ones, but you have told me that I should read this book. Ooh, okay. Um, 
But there are five books that I've told you that you should read that do not currently exist at my house because they currently exist at your house. So it can't be any of those five books. This is true. Um, which means it's not a night circus. No. All the world's a stage. Okay, second sentence me. Brian Anderson's Butchering the Line. Oh, this is um, Eliza and Her Monsters. No. What? Oh, no, I don't own Eliza and Her Monsters. That's one of the books on my list of books that I will buy when I have money again. (laughs) Oh. All the world's a stage. We should have made this a drinking game. Yeah, except I'm blindfolded. You could hand me my glass of wine. Thank you. (laughs) All the world's a stage. What was the name? Brian Sanderson? Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson. Well, he sounds like a twit. (laughs) Okay, give me the Hail Mary. That's my line. This is so unhelpful. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if I've read this book. Brian Anderson. I did not read the last line of this book before I picked it, I promise. Okay. <laughs> mm. I don't know. What is it? This is Always Never Yours. Oh, I haven't read this one yet. Brian Anderson. <laughs> no, I haven't read this one yet. This was on the, um, the ARC shelf. I've yes, only read two of those. I'm behind. So this... Is book seven. Book seven. Not the forward. Not the forward. Also not the preface. <laughs> is this Princess Bride? No. <laughs> Dig it. Dang it, that one has her name in it too. Okay, you're getting the second sentence of this. Okay. Because the first sentence has the author's name. And the that, author's name? That would give it away. Wait, the first sentence has the author's name in it. The first sentence of chapter one? Yes. Is this um, D.E. Knight? No. Okay, continue. Do not go into theater. <laughs> well, we screwed that up. <laughs> we did... Excellent. (laughs) Do not go into theater. We both have theater degrees, in case anyone was wondering. Yep. (sighs) One day we'll figure out what to do with that. One of these days. Yeah. Do not go into theater. Okay. Second or third sentence in in this case. Unless you can create something bigger and better, there is no use climbing around and clattering on a stage. You took Uta Hagen's uh, challenge for the actor off of my I did my not. acting. No? I did uh, not. Is this respect for acting? No. Um, what other acting? Is this Kristen Linklater? I don't have a copy of that book anymore. No. Um, okay. Uh, you have to tell me because there's no point in doing the Hail Mary. Well, I want to because it's okay. fun. Okay, Hail Mary me. I have to find it first. <laughs> All you can do is awaken it. Oh, good last line. Uh, I know. Whoever ghost wrote this is just brilliant. I don't think, I don't think it was a ghost writer. Really? Yes. Okay. Because I have read this book and thumbs up. I was giving you a thumbs up and then I realized you were blindfolded. blindfolded. (laughs) That's unhelpful. Okay, you have to tell me what this one is. This is Stella Adler on Ibsen, Steinberg, and Chekhov. On the Masters. Oh my god. No, of course she's no an points for writer. you. No points for me. No, she she wrote her own book because she has a beautiful way with words. She does. A lot of people quote her at me, which is why I know that. Yeah. Okay, I've this, not actually read her work. This is book eight. I'm pretty sure you actually have read this one. <laughs> I feel like I need to give myself a pat on the back. 
<laughs> for figuring out which books I have read. And for picking have the three books on your shelf that you have not actually read. <laughs> to be fair, there's like six or seven of them. Okay. At the time I realized I might be fictional, my weekdays were spent- Turtles all the way down! Yes. By John Green. <laughs> three points for you. I love that book so much. Because, like, even before he wrote that book, I have had, like, some serious quandaries about whether or not I'm fictional. And, like, I love that book so much. I have, I, I wrote a, a review for it and I just never filmed it. Because, like, I always started crying when I thought about it. Do you think you're fictional? Sometimes. Like, my life seems to be in that moment right before a novel begins. Yeah. And, yeah, that's just a little bit frustrating. There's a Jody Pico... About being fictional? Kind of. About a fictional character who finds out that he's fictional. Okay. I don't remember the name of it. Is that the one that Tom Hanks made a movie? No. Okay. Why did I think that Tom Hanks made a movie out of a Jodie Pico novel? That's silly. Um, Alec Baldwin did. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. That was um, My Sister's Keeper. Uh... You wouldn't like that book. As much as the book I'm thinking about. My Sister's Keeper. I have yet to see the movie, and I, like, know that I should, because it has Abigail Breslin, mm -hmm. and I love her. And it's it has a good Cameron movie. Diaz. Uh, it's a good movie, but I read the book first. That was my mm -hmm. first Pico I ever read. Oh, wow. That's heavy. Um, and so I was very devoted to the book. Okay. The movie is very different. It even has a different ending. Oh, my. And they switched out which character dies. So I was not okay with that. It's a good movie. If it stood by itself, it would be fine. Okay. But they changed the ending in such a way that it lost all poetry. Aww. Guys, we made Allison mad. We made Allison mad. Okay, this is book eight. Yes? Eight? Nine. 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 This has the main character's name in it. Oh, well. The screw through Cinder's ankle had rusted. The engraved cross marks worn into a mangled circle. Cinder. Yes. I'm, is it Marissa Meyer? Yes. I love that book. Three points. Yay! Like, who wouldn't want to read a book about a Cinderella who's a cyborg? Like, who wouldn't want to read that book? <laughs> oh, this is book ten. Last one, last one. I feel like this needs a drum roll. All right. Damn it. <laughs> More names. No, but it's a spoiler. Okay, you're getting the first sentence of the second paragraph. I feel like the first sentence of a book can't be a spoiler. Well, it is for this purpose. Okay. All right, continue. He was... No, that's... <laughs> Damn it. Okay. This is the second sentence of the first, the second sentence in the book. Okay. Cars that were usually gleaming stood dusty in their drives, and lawns that were once emerald green lay parched and yellowing. The use of hose pipes had been banned due to drought. Ooh. Is this Dream Thieves? No. Okay, okay second sentence. Right? I should have just read the first sentence because this has the same one, but you're going to get it anyway. Deprived of their usual car washing and lawn mowing pursuits, the inhabitants of Privet Drive had retreated into the shade of their cool houses, windows thrown wide in hope of, t of tempting oh. a non-existent breeze. If they're washing cars, then this has to be... The fifth book, the beginning of the fifth book. So, uh, Order of the Phoenix? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Who knows her Harry Potter? Just a little bit too good. <laughs> I picked this one because I didn't think you'd get it. Also, this one is my favorite out of the series. Aww. Mine so. is Prisoners of Azkaban. That's why I didn't pick that one. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was Yay! two points. Can I take off the blindfold now? <laughs> yes. Can I take off the... Yay! So you have two, Oh my four, god, it's so bright. Oh my god. Three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 12, Sixteen. Okay. You have eighteen points. I have eighteen points. And your eyes are watering. <laughs> yep. Really bad. Is my mascara all over the place? No. Okay. Not yet. Not yet, but my eyes Out are watering. Of a so. possibility of 30. three times yeah, okay. So I got a C. <laughs> C's get degrees. <laughs> 
So this has been a fabulous adventure. Yes. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Oh, I'm glad you're pleased. I'm glad you had a chance to torture me. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't turn that down. No, of course not. No. Thank you for coming on Dust Motes and Bellacor. Mm. Mm. Have you guys read these books that we are talking about? The ones that I have not read and also the ones that I have? I don't know where the sentence is going. <laughs> I thought that was great. All right, let's I go with it. I think you should leave that in. <laughs> That'll go in. Oh, my channel is Allison Clay on YouTube. I'll make her link it in the description box. Mm-hmm. If or you, uh, in the cards, too, I think. There's another better. place we can, car- we can link things. Yeah. I'm still learning how YouTube actually works. If you like books and you like makeup, mm-hmm. me. Yeah, and also like fabulous outfit guides. I check. Did I humiliate you into wanting to read the villain books now? No. Dang. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've ex- we've established that I'm a snob. You still haven't finished Uprooted. Like okay, but at least I started Uprooted. I started. A, I started. A, I'm like halfway through Uprooted. I I'm, have every intention of finishing Uprooted. I'm like sixty pages into exactly. the Evil and Queen book, and I have no intention of finishing it. The Evil Queen book you could do in an afternoon easily if I could get past. You can move a well. <laughs> no, we have can't. had this conversation. Honestly, that wasn't even what I was going to say, but that's a valid point. I accept now that you can move a well. It's the facade of the well that they're moving. But also, like, every single page, they talk about how beautiful one or the other or both of them is. It is important to the story. But they don't have to do it every single page. That's the evil queen's motive. Yes, but you can establish motive without... Like They're putting you in the ground. her mindset because every We've time, had this every time she sees Snow White, she so thinks about times. every time she sees her, she thinks about how she's more better looking than the evil queen. So that is she's what a they're literal doing. child. It doesn't matter. Have you never been jealous of a child? No, mostly I just want to like dress them up like little dolls and no. like play games okay. with them. The children who had no say in their careers but have better careers than we do. Dakota Fanning. So are you not jealous of nine-year-old Dakota Fanning? I am a little jealous of nine-year-old Dakota Fanning. There you go. Okay. I accept your logic. I still probably won't read this book. Bye, guys! <laughs> no, uh, sorry, 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 that was mean. Um, <laughs> that was great. But yeah, if you like books, if you like makeup, come talk to Allison, come talk to me. And, uh, yeah. Aviento. Bye!